everybody how are you it's tony robbins listen uh if you're on this little chat right now you either went to the challenge where we had 840,000 of you from 195 countries or perhaps you decided to go a little deeper and join me here for unleash the power within last weekend we had 30,000 households but we had about 72,000 people that participated day and night with me it was incredible i just want to thank you all Look, I've been watching on Facebook since we did the challenge and seeing how people have been implementing things. And I just really want to compliment you. So many of you have pushed yourself to make some important decisions or take actions. And those who went to UPW, your stories are already amazing. So my, my absolute congratulations to all of you. And I want to, I've been thinking a lot about how to make sure we support people ongoing in some way. And so I've got a little announcement here that I think you're going to enjoy at the end, but I also just reading some of the challenges that people are dealing with within their families, within their businesses, you know, we're, where it looks like we're turning the corner on COVID, cross our fingers, at least in the way it's being processed, the way we're, some of our policies about them. So we're, we've got some nice momentum. So I thought as you're gearing up to step back into your normal life, if you haven't already done that, um, I thought I'd just give you five little quick little triggers, just reminders that are so simple, but these are the five things that I personally did when I first got kicked out of my house. Uh, some of you know the story. My mom was a very powerful woman. And I had four different fathers and she kicked my dad out. And on Christmas Eve, she decided I was on his side. So she kicked me out too. And I had nothing. And I had to figure out what to do. She kept my 1960 Volkswagen. I weren't earned as $40 a week. And don't get me wrong, I love my mom, but she abused alcohol and prescription drugs. And when people do that, they're not themselves. They do little crazy things. But I'm, I am who I am because of her. And part of that was even that first step where I had to just figure out what to do with my life. But it was incredibly depressing. I have a younger brother, five years younger, younger sister, seven years younger. I love them, loves of my life. And I was separated from my brother and sister. And I'm walking in the rain trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to do. And I'm still in high school. And so one of the things that I did is I slept on this mountaintop. Um, and then, of course, it rained. And so the next day, I talked to a friend, a lady friend, not a girlfriend, but a girl who was a friend. And I her parents let me stay in their laundry room. And I remember I was so depressed. I don't know if you've ever been to that place where you're like wondering why you're even around or whether you should be around. It was a pretty brutal time. Uh, but what turned me around was feeding my mind. What I mean by that is um, about a year earlier, I'd gone to the seminar by Jim Rohn. I know many of you have heard of Jim. He's no longer alive past some years ago, but he was a mentor of mine. And I went to a seminar with 17. And in the seminar, he really talked about the importance of feeding your mind and you've got to feed it because otherwise things come at you. And so I remember I, I, I took a little bit of change I had left in my pocket and I got on a bus and I drove, uh, they drove me anyway on the bus to about, I don't know, it's about an hour's away from where I was because I'd been to this place once before at this amazing bookstore. And I figured I'll go in there and I'll just read a bunch of books while I'm in there because they can't afford any. And then I picked up a book called The Magic of Believing by Claude M. Bristol. And in this book, it talked about training and conditioning your mind and how what goes in your mind becomes the experience of your life and how to do it. And I was so depressed. I didn't know what to do. And so I went and 
I'll never forget, I went back to the school laundry room and there was a mirror there and the book said, you know, put your goals on the mirror so you look through your own eyes into your goals and you see in your own eyes and you read those goals, do it with soap. And so I did it in the mirror and then I made these little posters that said things like only a loser is depressed. Now that's not true, uh, because, but I felt like I'm not a loser and that was the leverage I had, right? I can't be depressed if the loser's are depressed. And so I, I just try to work on everything. But gradually, I started turning my life around, and I did five things, and I did them again. I got to tell you, and multiple times in my life when I hit really bad places, when I was told I had a tumor in my brain, and that you know I might die, you know when I uh, buried all four of my fathers over the course of a year and a half, and my mother, those are rough times. They start to shift you. When 2008 happened and looked like everything was going under. And I went back and I reapplied them here at the beginning of the pandemic as well. So they're really simple. So if you want, jot them down. And then I'll tell you about a cool opportunity that some of you may find really useful to keep yourself in the momentum. But first, of the five keys to transform your life. I don't care where you are, how great it is. If you can get to the next level, the first step is stand guard the door of your mind. And I got that from my teacher, Jim Rohn. I remember he came to me one day and I was really frustrated. I was saying, you know, I'm just, I'm working so hard and nothing's really working. And I don't understand it. And, and I was just, I was super frustrated. And I remember he came to me and he said, Tony, he said, listen to me. He said, think of, tell me who's, what are you reading? He said, tell me who you're talking to. He said, tell me who you're surrounding yourself with. And I said, well, I'm mostly isolated by myself. And I said, but I'm so frustrated. He says, listen to me. He said, answer this question for me. He said, what happens in the world if let's say, you know, your worst enemy comes by and drops sugar in your coffee? And I'm, I said, well, you don't have sweet coffee. He said, well, what if your best friend, even by accident, drops one drop of strychnine? What if it's your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, somebody you love, accidentally drops one drop of strychnine? I said, well, then you'd be dead. He goes, that's right. So remember, life is both sugar and strychnine, so watch your coffee. And what he really meant was stand guard at the door of your mind. Because today, we live in a world where the media, they're not bad people, they're good people, but the companies. And they got to take care of their shareholders. And the only way they win is by getting your eyeballs. And the only way to get your eyeballs in a world where there's so much information is to startle you. The news is not designed to educate you or inform you. You know that. That's why it says, water, drinking water may kill you. Film at 11. You know, anything that grabs you. And so we're living in a culture of so much fear. So if you're going to take your life back, you got to take into a limited amount of that media and, and be able to pursue it, not let it pursue you. Today, most people, like in order to get your attention, we all know what they do. It's called clickbait. Let me create a headline that'll grab you. It doesn't matter if the content is even real news or not. A lot of times the headline isn't really what the whole story is, but it pulls you in. There's whole groups of people whose entire life is designing algorithms and language to make you stay online more so they can make more money, but it isn't necessarily to your advantage. So what Jim Rohn used to say to me is he said, Tony, this is your new daily practice, because this is what I really want to get to you guys here, is if you want to keep momentum, if you've joined me for those few days there, the five, six days, or seven, I guess we did for the challenge, or you went immersion with me as well, the key is to get momentum and keep momentum. If you work your tail off to get momentum going, and then you drop it, oh my God, you got to start all over again. And so the way you do that is you have a daily practice. It's not like, you know, years ago, I went to a seminar by Jim Rohn, and then my life was perfect. It's like I kept immersing myself in all these things, but I also made sure each day I was making some form of progress. If you want to know what makes people happy, write down progress equals happiness. Think about it. You can achieve everything in the world and still go, is this all there is? You can achieve something and be excited, but for how long? The only way you stay happy and excited is to keep growing. Progress is everything. If you're making progress on your body, progress in your mind, progress in your motion, you're going to feel happy. When you get there, you feel excited, but again, for how long? A year? No. Six months? Three months? Three weeks? Three days? Three hours? Because we're not made to just sit and you know be successful. We're made to grow. We're made to then, as we grow, we have something to give. So step one is, let's see if you can put a little system of standing guard at your mind. And Jim Rohn said to me back then, the number one thing you have to do is read 30 minutes a day. So never less than 20 minutes. And I'm not talking about what comes to your phone. I'm not talking about clickbait. I mean a book. I mean something that you pursue. Great ideas are never going to interrupt you. They have to be pursued. And you, if you don't pursue them, you're going to get what everybody else has, which is all this fear, all this uncertainty, all this stuff that won't work because everybody's focused on what won't work, what can't happen. Why? Because they're afraid. They're afraid to fail. They're afraid to try and feel like they're not enough. So you got to stand guard of that mind by feeding your mind. 
You know, Jim Rohn used to say to me, success leaves clues. If you want things to get better, you got to get better. If you want things to change, you got to change. But you got to do it deliberately and consciously. And he used to say to me constantly, he said, Tony, you've got to constantly find a way to feed that mind, something that's got strategy in it, philosophy, something that's going to improve the quality of your life. And if you really learn it, you can help the people you love with the things you learn. And so I got hooked. And so I decided I'm going to read a book a day. <laughs> I took a speed reading course and I didn't read a book a day, but I read 700 books over the period of seven years, all in the area of philosophy, physiology, emotion, the things to me that mattered most. And what I really try to do is each day try to use something I learned, not just read, not just let my learning lead to knowledge. You know, Jim used to say, if you let your learning lead to knowledge, you become a fool. If you let your learning lead to action, that's when your life changes. So I started being aware of who was saying what, what I was taking in. You know, Jim used to say, you know, success leaves clues. If someone's successful, they're not lucky. They're doing something different than you. Figure out what they're doing different. He said, the first thing is find out what they're reading. He said, because he said, I remember he said to me something funny. He said, find out what poor people read and don't read it. And when he said poor, he didn't just mean financially poor. He meant people that were unhappy, people that were, had no sense of meaning in their life, people that were financially strapped because they weren't managing to add value to other people, people that found themselves not taking care of their relationships, their body. Poor isn't just money. Wealth isn't just money. It's emotional, spiritual, everything. He said, so find out what successful people do, what wealthy people read, what happy people read, and read that. Feed your mind. So step number one is every single day, you got to do something to feed your mind. And if you do that, if you just made that habit, say even five days a week, I swear to you, it'll change your life. But again, not what comes to you, what you pursue, something that has real value, a strategy that can change the game for your business, your life, a philosophy that can make you more fulfilled or happy, a way to make a difference for the people you love. That's a daily sought out practice for me. Started when I was 17, I'm now 61. That's why I have the privilege to be able to work with so many people. But most importantly, I've applied these things to me. So I have the life that I want. I don't have a life that I'm promoting to other people. So that's number one. What's number two, real fast. If you really feed your mind every day, feed and strengthen your mind with a 30-minute practice. And by the way, I started out reading all the time. But then I realized I was in my car all the time in those days. And I was like, I'm going to turn this to a university on wheels. And I'm old enough to remember cassette tapes, and probably most of you don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Not real to real, but little cassette tapes. You know, we didn't have where you could put 10,000 songs in your phone or go to YouTube and have a million different videos you can watch over and over again. And the value for me on that, quite honestly, was that I had to pay for this stuff so I had to value it and really use it. Like when you part with a certain amount of money, and in those days, you know, six cassettes, six one-hour cassettes, and a couple of workbooks was like $300. It was like the standard offer. And I remember I went down to this place called Night Education, Night like with a sword, you know, and a shield, K-N-I-G-H-T. And it was this Jewish man, beautiful man named Mario that I became friends with. I was a little 17 year old kid, my little pot belly, I was fat. And, and I drove all the way down downtown LA, about in those days, like an hour and 20 minute drive. And my little old Volkswagen with no reverse, park on the hill so it wouldn't, you know, so I could get out. And, um, uh, and I got to be friends with this man and he had collected, this is how old it was, all these albums of some of the great motivational speakers and psychologists and psychiatrists and business people. And then gradually those things got to actually the cassette tapes. And so he had all these things that I'd say, like, what's the, what's the most valuable thing? He said, well, what do you want to work on? I said, well, my body and my emotions and my mind and my spirit. He was like, you want everything. And he'd say, okay, let's start with this one. And I'd take $300. I was making $40 a week as a janitor. So this is literally the money I'd save and I'd absorb it. And I'd be like, I can't afford this. And I'd be like, well, I can't afford not to. Because unless I get these answers, I'll still not be able to pay my basic bills. I'll still be struggling. So that was one of the smart things. I invested in myself. And so I'd go down there. And because I invested $300 and in six tapes, I remember Jim Rohn said, repetition is the mother of skill. You hear something once and you kind of understand it. You hear it again, you kind of feel, you hear it enough. So listen to stuff every day. Until pretty soon, the things I was hearing in my head were these new thoughts from brilliant people instead of the old thoughts that were basically whatever I'd been around before. And it changed my life. It started to shift me because I fed my mind. But then number two, you got to every day feed and strengthen your body. Because if you don't take care of your body, it affects your mind, doesn't it? I mean, think about this. What is it that screws up everybody's life? Fear is the number one thing that keeps people from doing what's necessary. And anger and rage well, it can mobilize us. If it becomes part of your life on a regular basis, it destroys it. So how do you balance that out? Well, fear, anger, they're both physical, aren't they? 
Think about what do you feel like if you're really, if you've ever been so afraid that your throat got really dry or you feel this feeling in your gut, right? That's physical. Courage is also physical. Again, courage does not mean you're not afraid. Courage means you're afraid, but you do it anyway, right? It's a, it's a way of being in your body. So one of the things that I started doing early on is understanding, and those of you who spent four days with me, you know, day and night, because we did it, and it's in your body still, how to change the way you feel instantly by a radical change in your body. And so I really want to recommend you do something at least five days a week. First thing when you wake up in the morning, I don't, it doesn't have to be an hour workout, even 30 minutes. It can be something as little as five or 10 minutes. There is not a day when I wake up, I've shared with some of you this already. First thing I do, I go outside and if I'm lucky enough to be at one of my homes anyway, I have homes in different parts of the world because I've traveled the world and done this. I'm very fortunate, but I have a cold plunge I've installed in everyone, 56 degrees. In my home in Sun Valley, Idaho, I don't have a cold plunge. I don't need it. I walk through the snow in the winter or in the summer, I walk through the grass and I get in the river. And then the, literally the river is usually about 39 to 42 degrees to give you an idea. Every cell in your body is moved. The blood rushes through everything, right? And I do it for two reasons. I, there's never a day I look forward to doing it. I don't go, oh, I can't wait to go in there. I do it, number one, because it transforms your body. The blood flow, the lymph flow is unbelievable from a health perspective. You just go in for a minute. Pop out, it's like a different world, right? I don't care what it is. Or you could take a freezing shower would be the minimum way you could do this if you couldn't do this. But it's about changing your body so radically. And it's also about developing a simple daily discipline. It's like, I don't negotiate with myself. I tell my brain, I don't go, oh, wait, I'm not ready, or let me, let me count to 10, or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. That pattern of thinking is what destroys most people's lives and their dreams. You can settle for a life like most people have, or you can create your dreams, but to do it, you need to be able to push yourself. So you need to train yourself in little ways, or it could be just going and lifting weights, and you're going to do like 10 minutes of pushing yourself, or a sprint, or a really fast walk, anything. Because when you get your blood pushing, when you push beyond what's comfortable, it develops this determination inside you, this sense of will that you will then use everywhere else. I always say, if you discipline yourself in one area of your life, you're going to be able to do it even more in other areas. You get momentum. Momentum is everything. So if you train your mind, great, but you got to train your body as well in some way. And I don't care, again, if it's five or 10 minutes where you really push yourself or a full-blown workout, it's got to get there. Because when you do that regularly, you're going to find yourself having a better mind. The mind and body can't be separated. They're completely connected. You work on both of them, you're going to have a different world. And you're not going to be shut down. And when other people are like, oh, it can't be done, just move. I'll handle it. It's a different way of being, isn't it? Third key, in order to really believe you can turn things around, you need a role model. And so throughout my life, I looked at different ones. The earliest one I looked for since I grew up poor and we had no money. And, you know, that seemed to be the real issue. My, my mom left all four of my fathers. But as I look back on it, it really wasn't money. They could have had all the money in the world and they still would have fought. But it looked like money. So I thought, wow, if I could make money, my family will never have this pain. So I looked around for role models. And I grew up in a place where there were real no financial role models. Everyone was broke. We didn't have money for food. It's why I provide 100 million meals a year through Feeding America for the last six years. By the way, we're up to 700 million meals now. I said we'd feed a billion in 10 years. We're a year ahead. We're going to hit it. Uh, but the bottom line is it comes because I had nothing. And I found, it's like, who, who also started with nothing like me and then turned it around and grew and who comes from humble beginnings? And, and I saw, you know, Sir John Templeton. Some of you may have heard of him, brilliant man. First billionaire investor, started with nothing. And the way he did it is he saved money and he invested during the darkest times. And by the way, in case you haven't noticed it, we're in pretty interesting times. We just wrote a check supposedly for the government for $1.9 trillion on top of the $4 trillion that was spent last year to stimulate the economy. So this economy is going to get stimulated, no question. But also what's going to get stimulated is inflation. That's going to scare a lot of people. Some of you have never even seen it. When I was just starting my first business, just turning 18, 17 years old, uh, I can remember vividly in 1977, 78, we had 18% interest rates. Some of you don't even know what inflation is. You don't know what that means to prices and your business and your life. But if you know how to apply yourself, boy, it, you can do incredibly well at any kind of economy. So I saw Sir John as that. And when I was around when COVID happened, I started looking around to see what are people and businesses that haven't given up, even though everything shut down, they found a way to serve their clients. And even though their way wasn't my way, it reminded me and inspired me to say there is a way. That's how I started building the way that we now deliver for so many people virtually around the world. So find a role model and get a plan. So 
Number one, feed and strengthen your mind every day. 30 minutes a day. Uh, to me now, audio is even better because I can do it while I'm running. I can do it while I'm working out. I can do it while I'm cleaning the house. I can do it in my car. So I use audio. That's why I've used it forever in that area because it just gives you more rhythm. But it's either read or audio, something you pursue. Every day, strength and feed your body. You make it stronger so that you're psychologically short. Find the role model, get a plan. What's for? Massive action. Like everybody wants to say, well, I don't know where to start. What do I do first? Well, listen, I got all kinds of tools to help people do that. But the most important thing is to do something. You know, you don't know what to do, throw the rock. Wherever it lands, talk to the next person, right? It's like, you need massive action. And then you need to see what's working or not and keep changing and you'll get there. Anyone can get to where they want to go as long as they get in motion. But again, it's about momentum. And that's the main reason I came to join you. Last one, step five, real fast. Give more than you expect to receive. If you are constantly trying to take care of people, give to people. If you're the worst time of your life, you can give to people. I promise you, everything will change. I won't tell you the whole story, bore you with it right now, because I want to do this real quick for you. But, you know, one of the most difficult times of my life when I was completely broke, not, not even enough gas in my car, trying to figure out how to survive, not able to pay my rent. And I, I, had, I won't bore you with the story, but I had an experience where I took the last $19 I had and I gave it to somebody who else that needed it. And afterwards, I was euphoric. It made no sense, but it was the first time in my life when, you know, people say, I got to get beyond scarcity. You never get beyond scarcity. You got to start beyond scarcity. You got to declare, you got to take the last seed you got and plant them. And I remember, you know, the next day I got a check for $1,200, which in those days I could have survived on for almost a month from somebody who owed it to me and not paid me for two years. The very next day after I gave every dime I had and had no idea I was even going to eat, I just, it was the right moment. It was the right situation. And I just, I did what was right. Do something for them, and I promise you, you'll remember how great your life is, and you'll feel fulfilled because we all, it's not about us. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not about me, it's about we. And the more you can get connected, either people you love or even strangers, and do things, not for brownie points, just because it's right, somehow inside your own soul, your own spirit, you remember that problems are not permanent, only your soul's permanent. And you remember that I'm made for more than just solving this stupid little problem. It just, it lifts the human spirit. So those five keys, I really encourage you to consider to maximize. And then here's the announcement I wanna make real quick. I just wanna give you some added value here before I did too, but here's what's cool. I've been thinking about so many people, like so many of you went to the challenge and you loved it. I've watched you online, your Facebook and all your comments and so forth. But then some of you saying, well, but I've kind of started to drift a little bit. And that's why I do programs. And my immersion programs, I think most of you know, I teach three things. I teach total immersion. The way you grow is immersion. You don't learn a language by going a little bit an hour a day. You can, but a year or two from now, you won't speak the language. Like I've always said, if you want to learn Italian and you have the money and time, you'd go to be dropped in Rome and live there for four months. And with no teacher, you'll be speaking because you're in it day and night, night and day. It's immersion. So that's why I do the events I do, like Unleash the Power Within or Master University, those types of things. Because it does that. It creates that change. And once you have that change, I teach everybody in the events there Make sure you've got some other immersion. I still do this every year myself. I find something. I go and do a brain training for seven days of total immersion with 180, you know, these things that glue in your hair on your head that mark your state so I can put my brain in alpha. I'm, a, I'm doing this. This is why I am who I am. Because once or twice a year, I immerse. So that's one you should do. But then the second thing you need is a coach. And so an idea of a coach is not that they're better than you are, but it's making sure you stay on course. And then the third thing and the most important thing is you need a daily practice. So I prime every morning and it puts me in the right state so that I, again, I get momentum for the day and I follow through. And in addition to that, every day I'm feeding my mind. I'm either reading those 30 minutes or I'm listening to something in audio that feeds my brain. So those three are the way I've lived and, and created things. But I want to make sure that no one's left behind. And I want to make it so the economics don't keep in your way. We've already done that by making the events less expensive, making it so you don't have to travel, being able to do it from your home virtually. But I know some of you, that seems like a reach still. And some of you have gone to that, and I still want you to have that daily practice. So here's what I've created so no one's left behind. I, I put out tons of YouTube videos. And a bunch of people have taken pieces even and put them up there. And I don't take any of that stuff down because I want people to be inspired. But the frustration for me is I know millions of people every day start their day. We see it every day and they watch various YouTubes. But those are like little snippets. It's not a system. And what makes me successful is I don't just get inspired 
that's nice. It's better than not being inspired, but I have a system for success, whether it's how I manage my time and my businesses, or whether it's what I do with my body or what I do with my emotions or my relationships. And so over the decades, I've built over 108 hours of systems, not just random inspirational stuff, step-by-step processes for your money, for your body, for your relationship, for your, every part of your life. And so I've sold those programs individually and people for years have said, can we do some kind of a club or an inner circle or something? So here's what I'm announcing. I'm, I'm gonna start what I've been talking about people have asked me for years, it's called Tony Robbins Inner Circle. And here's what it is. If you decide to join me there, it's a chance for you to have daily tools of inspiration for you. And instead of just going and some of you have gone and like get one program for me and then listen to it again and again, which by the way, it's critical. Repetition is the mother of skill. Repetition is the father of mastery. If you're going to master something, you got to get it in your body through repetition. I went to, I think it was like 49 seminars of Jim Rohn and they were exactly the same. He did everything the same. He dropped the chalk in the same moment. It was choreographed. It was beautiful. I remember my clients would come to me and go, like, don't you work for him? Like, I'm taking notes like crazy. And they're going, like, why are you doing that? I said, because repetition is the mother of skill. Yes, I've heard it, but it's getting deeper. And because I did that, it became a part of my psyche even to this day. So repetition is how you master something. You look at somebody who's the best in the world, a LeBron James, anybody, and you say, how do they do that? Well, they get rewarded in public for what they practice in private, right? If you know Jordan, he used to make sure he had to make a thousand shots every single day. In the summer, he got up at 5 a.m. and worked out two a days. I mean, it's just crazy. That's what makes somebody great. So I want to make sure you have those systems. And instead of just getting one randomly, I want you to have access to them all. So what I'm creating is kind of the Netflix of, for this inner circle. And here's what it is. I have 108 hours of systematic development, eight different systems from your body, your mind, your emotions, your relationships, your time. And I'm making them all available 24-7, 365 on any device, from your phone to your iPad to whatever. So whenever you need it, I'm there, and you can have something daily that's the best that exists. So that's number one that you'll get. Get access to all those systems. So instead of randomly looking at some videos, you're actually going on a journey. Start from where you are and break the patterns, get the things out of the way, and get to where you really want to be. Second part of the inner circle is I've set up so that you have some guidance. So twice a month, you have the opportunity to join us. And Facebook group where one of my coaches will walk you through kind of like thinking like a book club only going deeper and saying, here's how to maximize this in your body or this in your mind or this in your business. Third, I'm going to join you three times a year in your home for an hour by Zoom where we can talk about what's going on in the world right now and do Q&A with you personally without you leaving your house. I mean, you know, I get paid, it's a million dollars a year, it's no BS to coach people. And when I coach them, I go three to four times a year for an hour and a half to two hours. It's just them, obviously, but that's what I want to try to bring to you at a price point that's ridiculous. Anybody can do if they want. And then fourthly, we have a community, the inner circle community. So and since we're talking about community, let's just take a moment, have you meet some of the members and hear what their experience has been. Tony just finds a way to get the best stuff out of you. First, kind of get through the bad stuff so you can work through it, and then you just only have time to get to the good stuff. And I look at the inner circle now, I look at it as fuel from my vehicle and, and, and I'm accelerating. My life has become so wonderful in the last year. The favorite part of Inner Circle for me is the community. So being able to witness and have proximity with people who are also making those kinds of connections is affirming and empowering. I dedicated myself to being part of this community for an entire year because I didn't want it to just be temporary or be, oh, maybe I'm gonna dabble for the next month or two. I really wanted it to be a deep connection. It's impacted the way that I show up for my family, the way that I show up at work. My time management has improved 100%. I started saving money, I started paying off debt. I started to really believe in what's possible. You know, at the end of the day, what Tony did was got me out of my head and into my heart and just made me more comfortable who I am. To people who are considering this, I think one thing people really misunderstand here is so much of the story ends up being about Tony. This isn't Tony's story, this is your story. And all Tony is doing is reminding you of who you are. Why wouldn't you sign up for something that allows you access to knowledge and people and that kind of positivity and motivation and growth potential and life coaching that you would get from Inner Circle? I mean, why wouldn't you do that? That's, that to me was crazy. Jump in. Don't even think for another second, do it because it's such an amazing support system. What you're gonna learn, the people that you're gonna meet, 
the programs that you're going to start practicing and learning and the habits that will, you will grow from is completely worth being part of this community. Inner Circle is jet fuel. It's rocket, rocket fuel. <laughs> You're having a bad day and you got people not just randomly around the world that are trying to do well, but people that are on the path, that have raised the standard, that are committed to growing, that are part of your community as well. So it's called the Inner Circle and here's what it is. It's 97 bucks a month. It's that simple. And if you want to take care of the whole year in advance, they'll give you, I think, over 30% off. And that's it. It's literally that simple. You then have access and you can listen to anything every single day. It's with you wherever you are. You got me coaching you in your home three times a year. Twice a month, you got somebody helping to guide you through those elements with one of my coaches as a group. And you got this community as well. So it's really pretty simple. And if you decide that, hey, I want to do this and I hope you do because I'd really love to serve you ongoing and I'd love to take the momentum you've already built and keep it going in a really easy way. But if you decide to do it as well now, and you do it within 72 hours today or within 72 hours, you get two more things. There's a program that I do in every company I take over. I do it with my family, with my friends. It's called the most important decision of your life. And it's a six hour integrated program that I only do within those groups. There's nowhere to get it publicly. So I'm going to provide it for all of you that are members. You're going to be part of my inner circle. I want you to have something even more special if you take action immediately within 72 hours. So just do it today if you want to do it. And then lastly, some of you are familiar with my product called the time of your life. It's a system called RPM. It's the rapid planning method. It's kind of a results-focused, purpose-driven, massive action plan for you to run your life. It's, instead of having a daily planner with to-dos, this is a system that is radically more powerful. It's how I run 74 companies. I, I manage 12 of them directly to be accurate, but I'm part of 74 companies. And I got to manage all that and make sure I'm supporting my four kids and my wife and my grandkids, and my businesses, and how the hell do you do all that? In the beginning, I was stressed out with two companies, and today I'm able to do all that, and that system frees you. So that system is part of this program, the trading system, but in the digital world where I'm right now, we used to have it as a paper system years ago, and then I had a partner, quite honestly, that tried to cheat us, and I had to go sue to get my, our, my digital uh, material back, which I won and got back. So now I have it, and if you're a member, we're going to give you that. And that's $49 a month by itself. You'll be part of that community. You'll get those tools to manage your life. And it's yours as long as you're a member here as well, with no additional cost. So we're just trying to give you every incentive to give you all the tools, body, mind, spirit, time, money, every aspect, best of what we know with the coaching, with the support, with me in your home, in a way that anyone who wants to, it's within the range of their economics and no one's left behind. So I hope this appeals to you. And if it doesn't, I hope the, you'll still think about these five keys because that's what the system does as well, right? I design it going, okay, we got to feed and strengthen our mind every day. Well, let me give somebody new tools. There's enough material here to last you three years, but you can go any direction you want. And then what's the second part? Strengthen your body. That's a part of this system. And then find role models. All these programs are filled with those people that I've learned from to show you the pathway or the plan to get it done. It's like, how do I take massive action? Well, you can do it daily, a little step at a time. And then if you really take this and you become part of this inner circle, not only will you transform yourself, which I know is going to have an impact on your family and friends, the people you love, but you'll have what keeps me going. Like, why do I see, keep doing this? Because it's so fulfilling to help somebody else. But you can't help somebody else if you haven't helped yourself, right? You can't inspire other people if you're not inspired. You can't move other people if you're not moved. So uh, my hope is this inner circle is not just great for you, but it's also great for you and for those you love and that you'll learn enough there that'll make a difference for other people as well. So that's it. I just want to drop in, make this offer to you. If you like, there's a little click here somewhere on the link. Click on the link, get yourself enrolled. And if you want to take care of in advance for a year, you'll save, I think, 33% or something like that, like 400 bucks, or it's just $97 a month. And we'd love to have you. I'd love to have you part of our inner circle. I'd love to be able to serve you. And I want to thank you here. I see some of the comments here. I'm going to go read them all. I love this, of hearing some of the results you've already gotten. And if you're committed to go to the next level and you want to be with a really cool community of people, join us now, all right? I look forward to seeing you soon. Take good care of yourself and your family. Live strong, live with passion, and God bless.
Say 